The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as we finish out the week on this Saturday, March the 25th. The whole counsel of God, word, and prayer. Today we finish the book of Ecclesiastes with the 12th chapter. So let's hear God's word and pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servants here. Please show us now your ways that we may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of our own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give us life, O Lord, according to your word, and we shall declare your greatness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter, verses one through eight. Remember also your creator in the days of your youth, before the evil days come, and the years draw near, of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Before the sun and the light, and the moon and the stars are darkened, and the clouds return after the rain, and the day when the keepers of the house tremble, and the strong men are bent, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those who look through the windows are dimmed, and the doors on the street are shut. When the sound of the grinding is low, and the one rises up at the sound of a bird, and all the daughters of song are brought low, they are afraid also of what is high, and terrors are in the way. The almond tree blossoms, the grasshopper drags itself along, and desires fails. Because man is going to his eternal home, and the mourners go about the streets before the silver cord is snapped, or the golden bowl is broken, or the pitcher is shattered at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern, and the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the spirit returns to God who gave it. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher, all is vanity. The aches and pains of old age make it difficult to envision anything hopeful and positive. Such bodily changes may overwhelm any joy we still have in life. Yet the same God who consigned us to the grave because of sin also promised us that we will be rescued from the grave and we will be rescued from his eternal judgment. Through hearing the word in our youth, he will prepare us. His promises will stay with us. We pray, Lord, we thank you for all the opportunities you give us to learn about our life where it is going, and what you have prepared for us. Teach us your word early, so that we may look forward to our end, not with fear or discouragement, but with hope and joy. Especially keep us ever mindful of what you have done for us in your Son, Jesus Christ, who overcame death in the grave. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now the last verses of Ecclesiastes 9-14. through 14. Besides being wise, the preacher also taught the people knowledge, weighing and studying and arranging many proverbs with great care. The preacher sought to find words of delight, and uprightly he wrote words of truth. The words of the wise are like goads, and like nails firmly fixed are the collected sayings. They are given by one shepherd. My son, beware of anything beyond these. Of making many books there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. The end of the matter, all that has been heard. The end of the matter, all has been heard. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. So far the word of the Lord. The one searching for meaning in life should have come to the conclusion offered here. To avoid a meaningless life, one needs a right relationship with God i.e. justification based on God's favor toward us on account of Christ and received through faith. God has given his word and through it we have the ability to know his commandments and promises. More important, we can know him and how to avoid a meaningless life now and in eternity. We pray, Heavenly Father, prepare me for your judgment through your word and the marvelous news that you have already judged me as worthy of life through the death and resurrection of your Son, our Savior, Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. On this 25th day of the month, we remember the Annunciation of our Lord, and we thank God for sending his Son into our flesh. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Father in heaven, help me to see that you give meaning to life. When I get discouraged and I get ready to give up, show me that you are my strength. Help me to have the true joy of life found only in Jesus Christ. Show me how to share this joy with my family and all those I come into contact with. Enable me to fear and love you above all things. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them into the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.